welcome back to the channel okay so we've got another folding knife review for you today this is the Ganzo Firebird G722 got a line of lock for 40 c stainless steel so that's 56 to 58 on the Rockwell scale it's got G10 scales, or should I say a G10 scale. Dual thumb stud. So that's good if you're left handed. Pocket clip might not be. So it's got a glass breaker on the end. Come on focus. I think you could probably remove that uh, with the appropriate tool and uh, put the pocket clip on the other side. I think you could probably do that. Uh, yeah, so it's tip up carry, uh, which I'm a little bit uncomfortable with because uh, I worry about that happening in my pocket. But yeah, it's not happened yet, probably never will. I'm probably worrying about nothing. Right, so this was really cheap. It was uh, from AliExpress and it was 14 euros 93. So that's 16 US dollars 71 or as if you're in the UK, 13 pounds 74. It's uh, full length is 210 millimeters. So that's round about eight and a quarter inches. That's 90 millimeters blade, round about three and a half inches. And uh, yeah, it's four millimeters thick. So overall it's a, it's a beast of a knife. Uh, you don't really want to take this with you when you go canoe, you might drown. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a joke, but seriously, as if you if if you're not comfortable carrying something in your pocket with a bit of weight to it, then uh, this probably isn't the knife for you. Saying that, it feels very sturdy. There's no play at all in the blade. Uh, yeah, obviously it is only a folder, so uh, its strength does rely on one little pin to a great extent and uh, a more knife on your belt would be less weight and still in a lot of ways much stronger maybe not from here upwards uh, but yeah it's uh, very very well made uh, the blades nicely centered Lovely and smooth. I love that click. Yeah, that sounds good. I've been using this for uh, for a few days in work, whereas I normally use a a mortar. I usually use a fixed blade. Uh, so I've been fixing dog sleds with this. It's caught a lot of string, a lot of rope, and uh, it still still seems to be fairly sharp. Yeah, it's not, it's not super sharp, but uh, after a few days of work, quite a lot of days in my pocket doing a, a few odds and ends, it's, uh, it's held its edge pretty well. So, I would recommend, as if you're buying knives from somewhere like AliExpress or, or anything from China, uh, do a bit of research first. Uh, Ganzo has got a good reputation, but uh, there's also a lot of junk on the market. So, so be careful. Uh, overall, would I recommend this knife? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, maybe it's a bit unnecessarily bulky. But, yeah, my first ever Ganzo knife. And overall, overall I'm very impressed. It's uh, comfortable in the hand. The jimping's not overly aggressive. Uh, you can get some quite... Some quite good cuts with the, uh, I like to slice with the belly like that, it uh, seems quite quite effective. I've used it on wood, I've used it on rope, uh, I've used it quite a lot for cooking, for uh, cutting vegetables and things. And uh, it slices really nicely. Yeah, decent knife. Okay guys, well... Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye for now.